Today is May 13, 2018, and I'm all having a great day today. So today's video is gonna be a little different than my other videos. I'm gonna take you guys through my day today. I'm with my girlfriend, Steph, and it is a beautiful day in Chicago. So I'll take you guys throughout the day today. We're starting the vlog a little bit later, but I have a couple things I do have to do to the BRZ, and we do have to run a couple errands. I will be at Weekfest on May 20th at Navy Pier in Chicago. So Weekfest, I will be there Chicago, May 20th. So I'm doing something to the BRZ today that I've been wanting to do for a very long time now. And it's something to do with the back end of the car. Something that really will make my car look so much better and a lot more cleaner. And on top of that, my car is completely filthy now. We'll get a good foam wash in today. We'll do my girlfriend's car as well. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video and let's get started with a cold start. I love my NVIDIA N1 catback exhaust, but I am actually switching that out very soon. And it's nothing against the exhaust, I just want to switch it up and get a different sound out of my car. I'm keeping my JDL unequal length header because honestly the header makes that awesome Subaru rumble and I don't want to get rid of that, but I do want to get a different exhaust sound. get a couple of good accelerations for you guys in the BRZ. I set up my GoPro in the back so I can see it right here as we're driving to make sure it's still there and to make sure the view is good. And when it's up close like that, you can really get the good sound of the JDL unequal length header and the NVIDIA N1 catback exhaust. guys we just pulled up to Best Buy just now um, we're heading in there with my girlfriend Steph um, she, we're buying a new MacBook Pro or MacBook Air today and for our three-year anniversary um, Steph's actually buying me a new Beats wireless headset which is gonna be awesome I know this isn't car related but it's part of my day so we're heading into Best Buy right now and I think I'm gonna bring the camera with Steph just got her new MacBook, and I'm looking at the Beat headphones over here. Um, the red one looks really cool, if you guys can see that. So um, I think I'm gonna get the black one, the gloss black. Uh, it's, it's wireless, it just has the cord on it, so no one steals it. But this is the wireless Beat headphone here, which, it'll be this one right here. It's the gloss black. All right guys, so I was gonna get a car wash, but it's about to downpour in Chicago right now. But well, with the camera, you can't really tell looking good. And like I said, I am going to keep these wheels, but I am getting a new pair, all four wheels, and nice sticky tires for the track. Because I'm planning to do a good amount of track days this year. Autocross and the actual race track. No drifting with this car, but maybe I'll get into it eventually. But, I don't know, I'm excited. I'll do a 17 wheel with some sticky tires, and it'll look really aggressive. And... These are like my show wheels when I'm going to any car shows, car meets, because it makes the car look really aggressive with the matte black color with the dark gray metallic color of the car. So for my exterior, everything's pretty good right now. I'm still waiting on my carbon fiber canards. I bought it from Japan and it's taking forever. And once those come in, I'll swap that out. Um, other than that though, 
what I want to do and comment down below if you think I should do this. So I sent an email out to Epic Lights. If you don't know what Epic Lights are, they make custom headlights, taillights for your BRZ, FRS, or any kind of car. So these are my standard, my Valenti Black Gold Edition taillights. So it looks cool though, it has the normal lighting here at the bar, but they can have sequential lighting and they make it a custom taillight. So you can get a you can get a button here and it'll make different colors and you can make it custom. You can tell them how you want your taillight. All right guys, so I know this isn't car related. We just left Best Buy. Um, I'll show you what me and my girlfriend just bought, random, but I'll show you guys. All right, so my girlfriend's got her new MacBook Air, and these are really nice. She had, her old one was like seven years old, and this is a huge upgrade for her. This is really nice. So, for me and my girlfriend stuff, we've been together for three years, so it's our three year anniversary present. Um, she bought me the new Beats Solo Wireless. So it's the wireless Beats here, and I got it in the gloss black. Um, I had a pair of these before the wired ones, but I didn't like it because of the wire. But this is gonna be awesome, and thanks stuff. this is awesome. My channel is always gonna be based around cars, because in my life in general is based around cars all the time. So it'll be with my life and cars. So we're gonna head back right now, do a couple more accelerations for you guys. Like I said, I was gonna do a foam wash around my car, but if you guys can tell through the camera, it is about to pour outside right now, it's about to rain, so there's no point of getting that wash. Alright guys, we just got back home. Um, I'm going to do something to the car that a lot of you have been asking me to do for a while now. It's a minor mod that will really make a huge change to my BRZ, and I'll just show you right now. So as a lot of you guys know, I have my carbon fiber leg sport ducktail wing. Absolutely love this with my color, with my dark gray metallic color of my BRZ. So, looking at it from the back here, the car looks good. My rear diffuser, my lip, my Valenti sequential lights, it looks really good. And those rally armor mud flaps did grow on me. I actually really, really like them now, it looks good. But looking at, looking at the car from the back, it doesn't look symmetrical. And what makes it kind of off is this Subaru here and the letters BRZ. And if I take the Subaru off and the BRZ off, I feel like it'll look more symmetrical. And I'll keep the Subaru logo right in the middle. And I feel like it'll make my BRZ look that much cleaner. And I'll take those off in a minute. I wanna show you guys one thing. So if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you guys know that I support other YouTubers. I'll buy merch with the channels I like. Specifically, um, automotive YouTubers, car YouTubers. And lately I've been watching Eliminate. And I just learned about Eliminate and the whole group with Randy, Sonny, and everyone on um, the last couple months. Their content's awesome and they're growing really, really fast. So to show some support, I bought some of their decals, some of their stickers you put on your car. I bought two of them, same exact one, two different colors. The black one here and the white. And this means savage. And I think I'm gonna put one of these I'm pretty sure the black one, it'll be a little more subtle on my carbon fiber ducktail wing. If I don't like it, I'll take it off, but we'll see how it is. Looking at the carbon fiber ducktail wing here, having a black sticker on here wouldn't be too bad, so I think I'll put it underneath, and it, it's only going to be the black part, so it'll be put on here like this, and I'll be able to take it off. I think I'm going to put it like right here. Or maybe like right on top, or maybe in the middle, I don't know. Um, we'll see. And I'm not a big fan of putting stickers, decals on my cars, honestly. But this is very subtle, looks cool, says Savage, and it's definitely awesome. And on the carbon fiber, the black will be very, very subtle. And the only other decal I have on my car is my 8.6 group, the Chi-Town 86. 
And this has been on here for the last year. I, I like it. It's simple, very good. And this is going to be very subtle as well. And if I don't like it after a while, I'll take it off. Well, let's get these emblems off. All right, guys, so I guess this will be a little how-to on how to take badges off. Like I said, I'll be taking the word, word Subaru off and the words BRZ off the back of my BRZ to make it look a lot cleaner. I just want the BRZ logo and that's it in the back. And what I do is I get a piece of floss, very thin floss. I tie it around my hands, uh, Dexter style here. And I'll start with the U. So you put it behind the U over here and you kind of just slowly put it back and forth and it'll eventually just fall out. And see, the U is off completely and if you look closely here, it does leave some residue of the U but I have goo gone with goo gone and it'll take all that off. Now I'll do that to all the letters here. last R right here, and BRZ, and it leaves a lot of residue. So I have all the letters for the badges right here, and it leaves so much residue. That's all the adhesive that kept it on there, and over here. Now, I have to take off the Goo Gone and make it look really clean. Many hours later. All right guys, it's a couple hours later now. Sorry I didn't finish it all in one take. Um, it is completely dark outside right now. I had something important to do, but right now I'll finish what I started. Sorry, it's dark, but I took my letters off. You can still see the BRZ, the adhesive installs on there. All the Subaru, that's, that's all adhesive. All the letters are over here, and I'm pretty much out of Google, but Google isn't the best thing to use. So from experience, I like using acetone to get any kind of gooey stuff like that, any adhesive off, but there's also a Goo Gone that's for adhesive stuff like that. It's automotive Goo Gone. So I'm gonna head to my 24 hour Walmart right now, check if they have that, I'll either get acetone or the automotive Goo Gone, clean the back of my car, and I still have to put one of these on my carbon fiber ducktail wing. And I might do it tonight, it's kinda dark, but we'll see. But I'm gonna head to Walmart right now. All right guys, just got to Walmart. Walmart actually has pretty good lighting out here, but I have to head inside right now, get the automotive goo gone, or something to get that adhesive off. Alright guys, so they didn't have the automotive goo gone at Walmart. They have the turtle wax label and sticker remover. I have used this before and it does work really well. Um, you have to apply this two or three times, but it makes it absolutely perfect. So we'll head back to my house right now and apply this to the car and make it look perfect. Alright guys, just got back to my house. Have the turtle wax. Um, it's the adhesive remover. Um, I've used this before, but it doesn't work on the first try. You have to spray some, um, let it sit there for one minute, then wipe it down, do it again, wipe it down, and it should be all set. So let's get to it. So it's the next day right now. I want to finish this video now because I want to show you guys how my BRZ looks like the badge with the daylight because at night you can't really see much and it really did clean up the back of my car and it looks awesome. My car is filthy right now because it just rained. But check out the back of my car. It's very, very subtle. But because the badges are gone, on this side was it said Subaru, on this side it said BRZ. Now it's more symmetrical. Very minor, but makes it a lot more clean. Look, I'm honestly really happy with my car right now and how it's coming together. And in tomorrow's video, I have a modification that a lot of you have been wanting me to do for a very long time now. And again, it's something to do with the back end of my car. It's something to do with the lights in the back. You guys can probably guess what it is, but it's going to be something that's going to change the whole appearance of the whole back of my car. And it's going to really complete the whole back end. So comment down below if you can guess what modification I'm getting for my car tomorrow. I'm 
the video right here. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I love how my BRZ is coming together and the new modifications I'm getting for the car. The next video, the mod I'm gonna get is really gonna make my car look awesome. It's a custom modification, which please comment down below what you guys think it is and comment down below what you guys think of my car looks like right now with the debadging. And remember, I respond back to every single comment I get. And again, hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Thank you guys so much for the support. Peace out, and I'll see you guys in the next video.